To support my eternal quest to find and present small but interesting titles, the developers at Kieran Games were kind enough to give me early access to their latest work, Captain Wayne Vacation Desperation. In this frantic FPS, players become the titular Captain Wayne, a hot pink wearing, fish eating, cigar hawking sailor man who refuses to let anything stand between him and his blood soaked conquest to rob and humiliate every rich arsehole around the globe. After losing his arm in a terrible encounter with the vampire whale, Wayne replaced it with his trusty shotgun, the Captain's Own Reliable, and set sail in his trusty vessel, the SS Salty. One day, an encounter with a group of evil mercenaries ends with him marooned on Walker Isle. With his ship stolen and without a second thought, Wayne starts doing what he does best, blasting everyone responsible. Taking inspiration from equal parts Lupin III, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, early SpongeBob SquarePants and Sam and Max, Captain Wayne's visuals are immediately arresting. Unlike other Doom games of its type, pre-rendered 3D is swapped out for flat cartoons, evocative of its inspirations. There is a panache to how bullets spill from his left hook, and the enemies encountered all have a charming design that almost makes you feel bad for fragging them. My favourite enemy in particular are boxes that deflect the usual bullet onslaught, and instead have to be dealt with with a charged uppercut. Captain Wayne's look isn't just skin deep. As according to Kieran's lead developer, the project began with ideas on how the Castle Loop in the third would play in a shooter where you could switch between them and deploy their unique arsenals. Yeah, the developers quickly and rightly moved away from just mere imitation to make Captain Wayne a far more robust protagonist. He does what he wants, takes what he wants, and he will answer to absolutely no one who stands to contest him. Even Wayne's creators are at the mercy of his whims. That same rebellious streak goes for the game's underlying technology. Although built in GZ Doom, Captain Wayne eschews from the typical Doom-inspired game by embracing exploration-based level design. There are small platforming sections, secrets at every junction, and the adventure is nicely balanced between finding the way ahead and wiping out every enemy in sight. During my time with Captain Wayne, Duke Nukem felt like an obvious analogue, and not just because of the sailor's one-liners. What's my motivation? There is a fun melee system to engage with that can send enemies flying across the screen, and each gun configuration has a fabulous heft and thunderous sound to each shot. At a time when the industry was shifting towards Quake's fully polygonal presentation, Duke was a lighthouse for developers who wanted to innovate further in 2D, introducing complex geometry and camera technology. Wayne picks up where that game left off some decades later, basking in the joy of what can be achieved with tried and tested ray casting technology. This current demo is a great vertical slice of Kieran's ambitions. The stage blends indoor and outdoor environments seamlessly, with plenty of wide open arenas and close quarters that test Wayne's sharp shooting. There's even some exciting transformations that occur as switches are flipped and secrets are revealed. All the while, this level drips with a summer vacation vibe that plays well with the art style's sunset's colour scheme and playful tone. Like the best shooters, there is the one to complete this level quicker and neater for high score bragging rights, as well as discover secrets missed the first time round. Captain Wayne's first demo is a great tease of another adventure to come, and according to the developers that second demo is currently in production, and their social media is the best place to see more on how Captain Wayne develops. Personally, I'd love to see more from this adventure and develop it. As a fan of games with cartoon-inspired art and animation, and fast-paced FPS games, Captain Wayne balances those two appeals, but with plenty of its own style that quickly won me over. But you don't have to take my word for it, as this demo is available to try over at itch.io. I've been James, and I'll see you all in the next upload.